Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You all know my messages are very short, right? Like 45 minutes, one hour. And in the next 20 minutes, I'm going to share what the Lord has put into my heart about 2022. But it's, it's you know, normally what we do is every January is the whole month is when the, the word for the year is covered. So it will be, again, you know, because of lack of time and constraints, you know, I'll not be able to share, but you will have the gist of what the Lord has spoken and that is more than enough. Blessed children of God, our church, and I want to tell you the ministry endorsed into my hands is a ministry of reconciliation. So I can never go into the theme without telling the foundation. And the foundation is very important. The ministry of reconciliation is how to get us right with the Lord. Amen. To get us right with God. At the beginning of the year, the first day of the first month of 2022, I will have to stress on the importance of getting right with God. Because only a person who is reconciled and right with God will be ready for rapture at any point of time. Every other blessing will come. Goodness and mercy will follow us. It is only a byproduct. Every material blessing, like how Nevin said, it is just a byproduct. Let Jesus be at the center of our life. The ones who have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, it's a time for you to come. into the outstretched arm of Jesus. For the ones who are backslidden, it is the time to return back to the Lord. The Lord loves you. And it is only through the reconciliation happens only through the shed blood of Jesus. And that's the reason why every Friday, there will not be even one message which will not speak about what Jesus has done and the blood of Jesus. That is the foundation. That is the foundation of our reconciliation with Lord. Not our goodness, not our good deeds, not our works, none of those things which we can take pride in, but only in what Jesus did for us on the cross, the finished work of Jesus Christ. That makes us right with God. And that is not just a theme for our ear. That is until eternity. That is the one thing we need to be conscious of. Our right standing with God. And that is only through the shed blood of Jesus. And even this morning I want to tell you. Jesus is calling us back to him. With an outstretched arm. He says just come to me. Just as you are. No matter how dark your sins may be. I'll make it whiter than snow. Now, 2022. Just a quick, what do you call it, a sneak peek into what the Lord has been speaking to us over the years. 2017, 2018, you know, onwards. If you look at what the promises have been, the Lord said He will be the captain. He will be the captain of this church. He will be the captain of each one of our lives. The captain of our salvation. 2018 he said the year of fruitfulness and how it is through faith focus moving forward you will have the fruit 2020 was an year of rejoicing when all the issues were going around 2019 was a year of restoration and 2021 was an year for praising and a year of praises Blessed children of God, many a times when the themes are given, you know, we, we, we generally like to hear what is the title, but we don't spend equal importance to the message. We got to, because I remember few people in 2020 you know, when we said it's an year of uh, rejoicing and all that stuff, you know, 
there was another man of God who was telling 2020 you will be the year of rejoicing and there was a lot of mockery made about that man of God but the thing is the message in its entirety needs to be taken into your heart it is not that you know the Lord is not faithful God is faithful and I told you if you and I we are children of God every promise which God gives is yes and amen it will come to pass for sure but pay attention to the message they say the vision is about where you will reach but the mission is how you will reach there and that is what the message is filled with for example year of fruitfulness 2018 how was it through faith focusing going forward and that's how you would end up as fruitfulness 2022 I don't want to tell you that you know see it's not a time to tickle anyone's ears and, and nothing will tickle your ears because of what's going and happening around us right but I want to tell you if the Lord is with us who can be against us if the Lord is on our side who can come against us the truth is there are many coming against us last year coincidence 2021 was the year and second chronicle 2021 was the verse and the promise for this year is second chronicles 2022 and i want i want all of you to read from verse number 20 onwards we're going to read from verse number 20 onwards Let's read it together. One, two, three. So they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Say established. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Say prosper. So they rose early, now verse number 21, verse number, and when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and were saying, Praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. Now pay attention to verse number 22. It starts with now. Now. It is now for you and me that something has to be done and it says now when they began to praise the Lord God the Lord set ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab and Mount Seir who had come against Judah and they were defeated conscious of time I will keep it very succinct very brief and the Lord said verse number 20 verse number 20 believe in the Lord and you shall be established believe in his prophets and you shall be prosper believe in God and believe in his promises who is a prophet a prophet is the mouthpiece of God himself a priest intercedes on behalf of people to God a prophet speaks on behalf of God to his people how many of you are getting it what is spoken through the word and every prophecy 
How many of you are ready to consider it as a promise for this year? I'm asking you a question. How many of you are ready to believe? Because the word of God says, if you believe in the Lord, you shall be established. And if you believe in the promises, say promises. Don't ever think that Paul brother is changing the word. A prophet speaks what God wants you to hear from him. And he says, then you will prosper. And do you know the, what is the meaning of the word prosper? The Hebrew word is you will advance. You will be established and you will advance if you believe in the Lord and in his promises. If that is the case, then the promise for 2022 is an year of establishment and an ear for advancing hallelujah if you believe put your hands together if you believe you put your hands together it might be barren i want to tell you in the light of all what you heard today your situation might be barren your situation might be looking impossible and bleak like how ninu said 2021 she had to leave her work and it would have it would have come across to her as come on how can this ear be an ear for praising when what hear what Jojo brother said what and how is that not the case with many of us those were few but I'm aware of the testimonies which we received the testimonies throughout the year how the Lord has been leading but the reason why I told you 2022 is the worst is because God is faithful and God expects you and me to do something in the middle of the storm will you have a hallelujah Hallelujah means praising God. It means praise the Lord. Will the melody be your weapon? Praising God for who He is. Praising God knowing that with Him all things are possible. Praising God for all the goodness which He has showered into your life. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all, all that is within me. It is not a casual it is not music by the way it is not just listening to some song it is not just humming no it should come from within bless the lord oh my soul psalm 103 bless the lord oh my not my lips not just lips bless the lord oh my soul who is that the Paul that you see outside is not the Paul. We all are spirit. Interchangeably use a soul. We have a body. We live in a body. When you are down, you got to speak to your inner man. You got to speak to yourself. You got to preach. You remember the lady with the issue of blood? She said, she's told to herself, if only I will touch the hem of his garment. And she got the strength. She went and touched and received the miracle. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. And that is when, you know, praise and worship is amazing because it pleases God. He's a God who dwells on praises, but not lip service when it comes from within your heart. You may have melody. You may have what you call G and F and whatever chords, no chords, with chords, whatever. But if it is coming from within, it is melody in his ears. That is the weapon for 2022. Verse number 2022, it says, Now when they began to praise, so God promised Jehoshaphat in verse number 15. This battle is not yours. Turn to your neighbor and tell him or her, 
this battle that you're going through is not yours the battle you're going through is not yours blessed child of God the Lord shall fight your battle the Lord will fight your battle that is the promise that is the promise and I know many of you have already tasted and known that the Lord is good the Lord is good but over the weeks we'll go deep dive into that that was the promise but 2022 verse number 2022 when they began to praise when they began to praise the fruition of the promises came to pass may I put it this way praise unveils promises so 2022 is a time for you and me to activate the promises from God it is an year of advancement an year of getting established many many Jojo brother many of us have not been able to establish spiritually physically mentally financially career wise business wise whatsoever oh don't let past 2022 because now is the time now is the time will you all rise up on your feet and now we're going to sing a hallelujah in the midst of our barrenness in the midst of no hope for some of you but i want to tell you listen to me keep your eyes focused on me as the choir gets prepared i want you to know something I want you to know something whatever you're going to do today here in this place whatever you're going to do today in this place is going to be the first milestone you're going to place 2022 we are going to step in not alone we cannot we cannot without him we can do nothing John 15 5 says without Jesus we can do nothing and that's the reason why every meeting every meeting we put the focus of Jesus at the center and I want to tell you the next five minutes or so we will be worshiping God it is don't carry it away with music don't carry it away with anything but mean it and let it come from your soul you will be established Turn to your neighbor and tell him or her, you will be established. You will advance. You will advance. You will advance. You will advance in the name of Jesus. You will establish spiritually. You will advance spiritually. You will advance and 